Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we're going to be reviewing the Fender USA Tony Franklin Signature Fretless Bass. Let's check this thing out. This is the Fender American Tony Franklin Signature Bass and this is an incredible fretless instrument. Absolutely incredible instrument. I know a lot of people think that I hate Fender. I hate a lot of what Fender is doing, but with this particular instrument here, they have knocked it out of the park, and we will talk about why. The body of the Tony Franklin signature is made of select alder and is finished in a nitrocellulose finish. You have a couple finish options, this being the pretty one, the Lake Placid Blue. It's gorgeous. I absolutely adore looking at this instrument. I just think it's so pretty. Contrasting this beautiful blue nitro finish is this pickguard here, this black perloid pickguard that looks so cool as well. And that houses this Fender American P pickup. Now, unlike most other PJ basses, and it saved me the trouble here, they throw in a DiMarzio Model J pickup in the bridge. An awesome pickup to make a killer PJ combination here. For controls, these are a bit unorthodox as well. We have a master volume and master tone control, just like a P bass, but we also have a three-way selector switch to select between just the neck pickup, both pickups together, and the bridge pickup soloed. The bridge is the Fender American Vintage Bridge. I'm personally not much of a fan of this bridge, and I'm probably going to swap it out at some point because this bass is a keeper, let me tell you. Moving on to the neck. This is where things really shine. We have a maple neck with an ebony fingerboard. It has, what, 20, 21 frets? I don't know, because it is an unlined fretless board and all you get is these little side dots. The fretless monster himself, Tony Franklin, does a great video talking about why he chooses the unlined fretless bases and the advantages of this. Go ahead and check out that video that's linked down in the description below. But we have an unlined ebony board and a gloss finished maple neck here with a modern C profile. We have a 42 millimeter nut width and I gotta say that it's just such a comfortable neck. Really, really comfortable to play and to hold. And then moving up to the headstock, we have a paint matched headstock facing and then four vintage Fender tuners, as well as a hip shot D tuner on the E string. We also have a vintage Fender Precision logo as well that looks pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and turn the space around. Around back, there's really not much to see here other than the beautiful blue finish. That is a beautiful nitro blue finish. And then we have a special neck plate showing that this is a Tony Franklin signature base. And then moving up, we can see the back of this neck it is finished in a gloss finish. It's a light gloss, it's not super heavy or thick. And then up at the headstock, we can see the back of these open gear Fender vintage tuners, as well as the Hipshot D tuner. And how much does our Fender USA Tony Franklin signature base weigh? This particular example comes in at 9.2 pounds, which is not too shabby. But as we all know, weight really doesn't matter that much if the base does not balance well. So let's see how our Tony Franklin signature balances. In the lap without a strap, we do have quite a bit of neck dive, and that's because of these big vintage style tuners, as well as the hip shot D tuner that adds a lot of weight. I do have a set of Godo Rezo lights, which are gonna be a direct drop and replacement for these, coming in relatively soon, as well as a Godo bridge to match it, and we'll be doing a separate video modding this base. Just the hardware, I'm not going to be touching the electronics as this is just such a great bass as is. On the lap with a strap, we do still get quite a bit of neck dive. It is pulling towards the ground. Standing up, we still get neck dive. And finally, how much does the Fender Tony Franklin USA Signature Bass cost? These particular bases come in at $2,250 or $2,249.99. You can get those direct from Fender or any Fender retailer. That is a lot of money for one of these bases, but it is extremely high quality and I'm actually really impressed with just how well this base is built and how well it plays. 
But enough talking about how well it plays, let me show you. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. <laughs> that is a the Fender a Tony Franklin a signature bass and what a bass it is. Oh. <laughs> So what you've heard thus far is with both pickups together and the tone at 100%. Let's start looking at these pickups individually, starting with our neck pickup. The Fender, uh, I think it's just the Vintage P pickup, the USA Vintage P. Here's what that sounds like with the tone all the way open. <laughs> oh, what a great tone. Let's take the uh, tone control down to about 50%. What a great playing experience. Let's take the tone down all the way now. Now let's turn our tone control back up and flick our selector switch to the other side and we're gonna be soloing our DiMarzio Model J pickup here at the bridge. This is a humbucker here, so it's absolutely silent even when soloed. A nice touch. Well, I'd expect that at the particular price point, but I'm glad they included it. Listen to that tone. Such great fretless tone out of this bass. The round wounds that are on here are the SIT Foundation Nickels, gauges 45 to 105. This bass comes stock with rounds, so I swapped in a fresh set. Um, and the ebony board is holding up quite well, and I think this thing sounds so great with a lot of just fretless character up the wazoo or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Take the tone down to about 50% now. Let's take the tone back up once more and go back to, I don't know why I said once more, we're gonna do it a few more times, the uh, center position, having both pickups together. <laughs> Take the tone down all the way. Oh, I, I can play this all day. This is so much fun. Let's uh, take the tone back up and grab our pick and start off at the neck pickup with a pick. And let's go over to our bridge pickup. Together. 
Put the pick away and let's give this bass a slap. I'm going to go back to the neck pickup. Here's what this sounds like. Oh, this is a fun slapper. It's, a, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Let's go over to our bridge pickup. <laughs> and the both pickups together. <laughs> and finally, let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass, and I will cycle through the three pickup settings. So here are my final thoughts on the Fender Tony Franklin USA Signature Bass. This is one heck of a fretless bass. It is so well made and I think this is, it's one of my favorite fretlesses right now. I was not expecting to like it as much as I do and I think with the tuner mods as well as the fresh bridge, this is going to be just perfection. Yes, pricing wise, it definitely is on the steeper side, but this is an American made Fender for sure and it is a signature model. So this is coming in right around where the American uh, vintage 2s and the Pro 2s were coming in uh, with their newer price hike or whatever. So I would definitely take one of these over one of those 
10 out of 10 times. This is a superb and unique instrument. This is something that you really can't get anywhere else unless you want to do some modding. But the unlined ebony fingerboard just plays so wonderfully. The DiMarzio Jazz pickup here sounds great and is dead quiet and just adds to a great PJ setup. My only real gripes are the hardware. I'm not really a fan of this uh, vintage style bridge as the saddles can kind of just move around a bit and I don't like that. I want my saddle to be secure and, and happy. And then uh, the tuners are just a bit on the heavy side, leading to quite a bit of neck dive, especially with the D-tuner. I'm personally not a fan of D-tuners as I never do drop D-tuning because my smooth brain cannot handle it. And I also just play a five string at that point. But I appreciate that they have it here, but it's personally not for me. And I think that the Goto upgrade is gonna do a world of difference here in regards to balance. So what am I going to rate the Fender USA a Tony Franklin signature bass? Ugh. I'm gonna rate this bass four claws out of five. This is a stellar instrument. I am truly impressed with the build quality, the playability, the tone. Everything about this bass is really impressive for me and I just have so much fun playing it. I'm probably gonna do some more effects stuff and this is gonna be one that'll be whipped out again to uh, have some fun with some effects pedals. So keep an eye out for that content in the future. Uh, I'm gonna try and get into that a little bit, but we'll see, we'll see, down the line. But I am a big fan of this Fender USA Tony Franklin bass. Be sure to check out his video linked in the description below where he talks about why he chooses an online fretless fingerboard here. And uh, let me know what you think about the Fender USA Tony Franklin signature bass down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Fender USA Tony Franklin signature bass. And as always, until we groove again.